these are kind of category all on their own. These are laundry detergent from the brand Sniff. This is so good. I will tell you guys. So this is the laundry detergent and this is the scent booster. These are both in the scent Sweet Ash. I like their rain scent. They have so many good ones. They're very like natural, earthy, warm, sweet scents. They just smell really good and like wholesome. I don't know how else to describe it. But this brand is just a lot healthier and I feel better about using this brand on my kids' clothing and my clothing even. I, I feel like I'm, as I became a mom, I'm like, pay more attention to the toxic chemicals that go into everything that we use. And so I've been paying more attention to that and that's why I have been loving this brand. It's just cleaner, better, smells really good. We talk about how cute the packaging is sitting in my laundry room. Anyways, I highly recommend this and that's really all I'm gonna say about it. It's just such a good laundry detergent. Speaking of harmful chemicals though, <laughs> if you get stains in your clothes, it is so stressful and scary. And I will say OxyClean <laughs> might be toxic, but this gets things out. Let me tell you, this will take nearly any stain out, except for, honestly, it'd probably take out ballpoint marker or pen and Sharpie, but a hack that if you didn't know, hairspray will take out ballpoint pen, Lila colored all over the couch, and hairspray took it out. You just spray it, grab it with your fingernail, and really get it in there, and it'll come out. But this, on the other hand, spit up, food, this, if anything gets anywhere, this is what I run to. This is so good. Wool light is really good, and there's another one that's really good, but this is my tried and true favorite stain remover. <laughs> and it has been a lifesaver lately. That is why it is in my current favorites because a sweatshirt that is actually sitting right here that I've been wanting to talk about got some stains on it and I have been loving this sweatshirt and I would have cried if I couldn't got the stains out. This right here took the stains out. So this is it. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised that I only have one, technically two things to talk about for fitness because I love fitness and I have a lot of fitness favorites, but the Bala Bands, they're so good. They just strap around your ankles or your wrists and they add a little bit of weight to your wrist or your ankles. You can use this if you're biking or you're doing arms, you're on a walk or doing cleaning your house and you throw these on. It's a great way to add in an arm workout or strap around your ankles, add a little bit of weight to your feet if you're on a walk, hot mom walk, hot girl walk, whatever you wanna call it. These are so good. I just love having these around. Again, they're a little bit pricey, but they're cute too, so why not? Diving into electronics, businessy things that I use, this has been a game changer for me. I love this. This is a tripod that I picked up off Amazon. And the reason I love this tripod is because there's no clamping. You can just pull it open, pull it closed, super easy to use that way. But the other tripod I have that does that is only good for phones. This one is good for phones. You can pop your phone in there, no problem. But you can also fold this down and bring it more upright. And you can screw your camera on top, right? I don't know if you guys can see that. Right in here, you can screw your camera on top. It is so good. And I just love, now that I'm doing YouTube more, being able to put my camera on here and just bring this around my house with me. Also love how it just conveniently will fold up into the world's tiniest tripod to, put, uh, to tote around with you. So this is really good if you're a content creator or need a tripod for any reason for like media or like, let's say smaller-ish camera. I don't think that this would hold my DSLR or anything like that, but such a good tripod. <laughs> this little thing is like an Apple converter. It'll take SD cards in one end and it will bring it to your iPhone. And this has been really great being a content creator if I'm filming for brands on my camera and I wanna edit on my phone because I do most of my TikTok editing on my phone. This right here makes it so easy to get all of the information onto your phone. That's all I have to say about this. This has been a game changer for my content creation and really awesome. Another thing, favorite of mine lately has been the OctoBuddy, but I don't keep this on my phone. I like to have a separate phone case because I don't want it sticking to everything. So I actually just have a phone case right here that I have the OctoBuddy on. I travel with this and if I need to set it on a window or need to suction cup it to the mirror when I'm filming a get ready with me video or anything like that, this is just nice to have around. I have two of these with OctoBuddy stuck to the back, one in my car, and then this one stays in my makeup bag. 
and I just like having it not on my phone all the time, but I like being able to switch it in and out. I know some people have the magnet pack for their phone. It's an OctoBuddy. I haven't gotten one of those. I probably would love that. Just haven't gotten one. And I had a couple OctoBuddies laying around, so I just made them out of my old case that I could just switch between. And it's been great. This is the last little electronic piece that I wanna talk about. And I don't even know if you can really buy this new anymore because this is the Sony 5100 camera. I use this for vlogging. I have been, I fell in love with this again. So I got a new vlogging camera because this one had broken a while back. I ended up getting this one fixed, but I like how it has the screen on top for YouTube. And then my other camera I like for TikTok because it has the screen on the side for when I flip but I want to be able to look up rather than to the side when I'm filming. And so I have really been liking this, but on top of this one, on top of this camera, which I will link the newer version of this camera they do sell, but I'll also try and find a used, you can buy these used on Amazon. I'll try and find a couple of those, but I like how the lens comes off and you can replace the lens. This is just like a small little kit lens. It's the 16 to 50. Wait, that doesn't sound right, is it? I don't know. Does that sound right? 16 to 50? Maybe it is, I don't know. It doesn't have a very low aperture or anything, but the color on this, I just feel like looks so much better. I'm filming with my new Sony camera that I use for wedding photography. So this one is gonna be incredible, but I shoot with the Sony ZV-1 for TikTok content. And then this is the Sony A5100 that I have been using lately and fallen back in love with for YouTube vlogs. So if you've checked those out recently, I just feel like the coloring is better and I've been liking it a lot. So this has made the current favorites because I've been grabbing this a ton more. Are you guys sick of me yet? Let's rapid fire go through a couple things that I have been eating lately and then we'll get into the clothes and then we'll be done. Currently I have been obsessed with these Quest soft and chewy cookies. I'm addicted to sugar. I love sugar and every single night I need a sweet treat. And so this is higher in protein and like a quote unquote healthier option, better option for me to eat as a little dessert at night than anything else I would probably grab. <laughs> so huge bowl of ice cream, that is what I would actually want, but this has been really good for my sweet tooth at night. And it's just a Quest soft and chewy cookie. It's got 15 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, really great. That's all I gotta say about that one. My chai lattes, I have been on a chai latte at home grind. I've been using the Oregon chai. This is a tried and true favorite of mine that I have used for years. I've tried a ton of other chai brands and there's a couple that I like on Amazon, but those aren't as convenient because you have to order them on Amazon. It costs a fortune to ship them. These are just right at all of my Kroger stores. You can find at King Supers, at Fred Meyers. You can find this at Target. You can find this so conveniently anywhere and it is such a good yummy chai. I might be a little bit biased because I'm from Oregon, but seriously, this is sweeter chai. It's not really spicy chai. I like a sweet chai. So this has been great and I use this half to half. It's like a one to one ratio. So I'll do this with the oat milk that I like and it is the best combo. Target also has a cold foam that you can use on top that makes it so good. Lastly, this is not the flavor that I wanted to talk about. I actually like the cherry cola. That is my favorite Olipop flavor at the moment, but I already drank my last one last night, so I couldn't show you the actual flavor. That flavor, it's just like a healthy, it tastes like soda, but it's like healthy. I just love the cherry in it, it's just so good. So this one's just the strawberry version. This one's good, but the cherry cola is better. I highly recommend that, and I wanted to chat about that flavor, so I put this in there to remind me to talk about it. If you are on the hunt for the perfect winter shoe, that's not bulky, that's easy to slip on, that's warm and cozy, I got you. These right here, these are from North Face. I cannot remember the name of the shoe. I've had these for, I think two years now. These are so good. <laughs> these are so comfy, especially as a mom. I want something easy to slip on and I want something warm in the winter that is practical and makes sense. Sometimes I'll just use these as a slide and I'll just slip my feet in, but they also have a back in case you're learning about chasing kids at the park or something like that. These are such a great warm shoe and I feel like I'm gonna get a ton of use again this year out of them, just like I did last winter. So here's your sign if you need a easy to throw on winter shoe, this is it. <laughs> Some people are gonna hate them and say that they're super ugly. I think that they're cute, but secondly, they're very practical. That's all I gotta say about them. 
If you're looking for a good fall shoe, even though we're kind of on the tail end of fall, I will be wearing these all winter as well, but my Boston Birkenstocks are my all-time favorite shoe. I have had two other pairs of these. First pair I ended up selling on Poshmark, bought a second pair in a different color because I loved them. I have worn those into the ground for the last year. I ended up buying another pair at the end of the summer and that was because I wanted this blue color. <laughs> I thought that this blue color would be so cute with denim. I thought that this was fun to have some Boston Birkenstocks in a fun color, but this is your sign as well. If you are looking to get some Boston Birkenstocks, they are the cutest clogs and you need them. Just kidding. <laughs> you don't need anything that I'm talking about, but if you're thinking about it, this is your sign to get them. Lastly, another shoe that is very in right now are cowboy boots. And I'm just gonna say I've owned several pairs of cowboy boots. I love cowboy boots. These though are the best pair that I have owned. These are Tacovas, and I don't remember the exact name of what shoe this is. I will link the exact pair below. But the thing about these, most cowboy boots you have to like break in, you have to stretch out the leather. They're very hard to get on. These ones, they already feel like they're broken in. They are so comfy. I could wear these all day. The leather is just, it's just so nice. These are the boot, I'm just gonna say. I also love the smell of leather, kind of a weirdo. But these ones are so good. If you're looking for a pair of cowboy boots, I recommend these because for one, the color is really cute. They also have them in tons of other colors, black, I think they have red, lighter tan. I wanna get another pair of these in, they have a really pretty cream. It's darker than cream, but I wouldn't say it's brown and it's lighter than tan. I don't know how to describe it, but it's, very pretty and I want them. <laughs> Let's dive into clothes and bags for the last little section and hats. This hat has been a staple. I've been wearing it all of the time because for one, I'm obsessed with denim right now. I have just like worn denim into the ground and I love that this is just a little patch of denim. It's very cute. I got it from American Eagle, but I'm pretty sure you can get it other places. And I love the cream color. They also had a really cute fully solid denim one with a white logo. And I almost got that one. And when I went back the other day to try and buy it, I couldn't find it. So hopefully they still have that one online if you're interested in that. But this one's also very cute. And this one was in store still. So just saying. Let's talk about this sweatshirt that I have behind me. So I have been wearing this in pretty much all of my recent vlogs. It's soaking wet right now because I threw it in the wash, washed it and was trying to get a stain out of it. And then I hung it up to dry and realized I wanted to show you guys this in my favorite. So it's still wet, it's still drying, but this sweatshirt is custom made from the brand Linguina Franca. <laughs> I totally just butchered that, but you can see that. I'll link it below, you can find it below. But they custom make these sweatshirts and for some reason the material is so good. Inside isn't that soft fleecy material, which I'm okay with because I like that this one you can wash and wash again and it doesn't fray, it doesn't like fall apart. It's a very good quality and lightweight. I don't know how to describe this. This is like my favorite sweatshirts because the quality is just so dang good. And I love that they custom embroider whatever you want on it. So you can custom design it on their website this I put in stay at home mom club because I thought that that was cute. And also I have been wanting to come out with some merch that look exactly like this. So I made one for myself, but I don't think I could make, I don't think I could make or find a sweatshirt as good as this one. So if you're thinking about getting something like this, I would go through this brand until I can nail it down and figure it out for myself. But they have different colors of this sweatshirt. I think they have five or six different colors and I want another one. I really want another one. It's just so good. I'm gonna let that dry while we keep chatting. While we keep yapping, it's just gonna keep drying. But my favorite, favorite pants. I wear them through maternity. I wear them postpartum. I wear them normally. I wore them before I got pregnant. These are the Hotshot Pant from Free People. And these I got in a size medium. I've always worn them in a size small. And I feel like feel like I could have gone with a small, but I wanted this color and they didn't have this color in a small. So I got a medium, but they're very baggy. So I would definitely stay true to size or size down. And they're my favorite. They are baggy pants, super comfy if you're a mom, easy to throw on. 
I have them in gray and I have them in black and now this really pretty green color. I've actually owned several pairs of the gray ones because I wore the first pair I had so much that I ripped a hole in them. So when I tell you I love these pants, they're so good and so comfy. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I wanna talk about a couple bags. Unfortunately, I don't think that Free People has this color in stock anymore, but they do have other colors of this bag. This bag I've been getting so many compliments on. Everybody asks me where it's from. Everybody says that they love this bag. It's huge, it's great as a mom. Right now I currently have like formula in here, diapers in here, wipes in here, snacks in here. I've been, oh, I have a bottle for Leela, a little sippy cup on the side. I'm pretty sure I have one. I have a water bottle in here. There's just so much stuff that fits in this. It's great to catch all that you need as a mom when you're out and about and I love this bag. This is also really cute for farmer's markets. If you just need a gym bag or any kind of big tote, this would be it. Look at how huge that is. It's massive and the print is so cute. Unfortunately, they don't have the red anymore, but I'm sure you can find something similar. <laughs> so I will link that bag and all the other colors below. Next, I don't know. I've been seeing all of the influencers getting gifted Louis Vuitton bags, the Neverfull. And here's the thing. This is not a real Louis Vuitton Neverfull, <laughs> but I love it. And I feel like I am going, I have always loved this bag. I've had it for several years. I bought it from, I think a place I'm not supposed to talk about <laughs> so that this video doesn't get taken down. But um, just know that you don't have to buy the real thing. For one, I don't think, sure, maybe I could if I wanted to go out and buy a designer bag, but in my mind, I just can't justify it. There's other things that we need. And so I got this. I really love it. I love that this bag is kind of coming back in style. I want the inside out one. I think it's so beautiful. And if there comes a time in my life that I can buy a designer without any guilt, I will do that. But I just feel like there's so many other things that we can spend our money on, especially if I just bought a house. And I'm really hard on things, especially with babies. I just feel like it would get destroyed. Like this Neverfull already has so many scratches and scuffs on the front. It would just make me sick if I had spent the full price on it. And I'm not saying I never will buy designer. I'm not saying that at all because I'm sure at some point in my life I will, but I don't own any designer bags because I just don't trust myself with them. And this one is super cute too. And honestly, he's wild about this, which kind of scares me because I hope it's not, I don't know. The thing that's wild about this bag is it will connect to my phone every once in a while and take me to the Louis Vuitton app. How does that happen? I'm a little bit worried that maybe I shouldn't share that, but I don't know how that happened. No clue, but I love this bag, obsessed with it. Such a good bag, fits so much. And I feel like I'm sharing too much already. So <laughs> just know you don't have to buy designer. You don't have to buy any of this actually. So, okay, the last bag or two bags I wanna talk about. This one really quick, this one's custom embroidered from LL Bean and it's actually from Olive and June. I love Olive and June as you guys know, but I've been loving this bag. It's great for the farmer's market. It's got super long straps. And again, it fits so much stuff in it, but it also is cute. I'll like wear this out with an outfit. If I'm dressed up, I will use this. I just think it's really cute bag. LL Bean or LL Totes are just like incredible totes. I have like three or four of them from PR packages that I've gotten from brands and stuff like that. And I use them all of the time because they're just such good quality. And I use them for grocery bags and Whatever else. I keep this in my car all the time because if I'm getting groceries and I need bags, just throw everything in there. The last bag that let's chat about. I'm a bag and a shoe person. I love bags and I love shoes, but not designer. <laughs> well, I love designer. I just can't justify designer. There we go. <laughs> this bag is from Lululemon. I get so many questions on this bag because it's very cute and very practical. It fits a ton of stuff but it's also just very functional. I don't know, I love this bag. I have it in this color and then I have it in a cream color. I hope you guys can still find this online because I got this last season. I just recently pulled back out the black and it is so good. I've been using the tan one for the last year and I haven't really gotten much use out of the black one, but now she is using the black one for fall and winter and it's just a great for everything bag, so. Highly recommend, I'll link it below. We have a few more items. This bomber jacket I got from Princess Polly and I have been wearing it nonstop. It is such a good every occasion jacket. I keep it in our downstairs 
closet and I just throw it on when I leave the house because it's very comfy. It's a vegan leather and I just like how it looks like it's worn in a little bit already. It's really good, you guys. It's just a good fall staple jacket and I will carry it into winter a little bit with me. It dresses things up if you want it to dress it up, but I'll also just throw this over a workout outfit and wear it out of the house. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but it's just a really, really cute jacket that I have been very much obsessed with. <laughs> this last little section of clothes kind of all go together. So I'm going to just quickly chat about these. I have been so into denim lately. I love denim. I have been obsessed with denim. This denim jacket from Free People is perfect. It's very oversized and a really, really good color of denim. And I don't know, I think I saw this on Keeping Up With The Kardashians, but I think that's where I, I saw it. I've always kept denim jackets open and just thrown them over the top of my outfits. And I never thought to wear a denim jacket buttoned all the way up, but I saw Kylie Jenner wearing her denim jacket on one of the episodes buttoned all the way up. And maybe she just had the top one undone or something like that. And it was so cute and she was wearing denim. denim. And I have been obsessed with that. I wear this jacket with some, oh my goodness, I didn't include my fake denim pants in this episode. I will link them below. I don't have them here. I think they're in the wash upstairs because I wore them all weekend. Those are a favorite. It, they are denim pants, quote unquote denim, that are actually sweatpants. It's just printed on denim. How do I say that? It's sweatpants that they printed a print of denim on and they literally look so real. So I will wear those baggy quote unquote jeans that are actually sweatpants with this jacket buttoned all the way up. It has been one of my favorite go-to outfits that are cute, comfy as a mom, practical, but also elevated. So I'll link those pants below because they're so good. From Rag and Bone, it starts with an M, Rag and Bone. But this is from Free People. This denim jacket is so good, the color is so good and I love it. I got rid of all my other denim jackets because this one just like over all of them. <laughs> Speaking of free people, this is a darker wash of denim and it's not, it's not actually denim, but it's just, it kind of gives the vibe of denim. But this is from the brand We The Free and it's just a really cute long button that I love throwing over my workout clothes, that I love throwing over denim, like a darker wash or whatever. It's just, a really cute, comfy, flowy button up that I will also link below because it's just that good. This is one of my favorite shirts at the moment and I love it. So it's kind of funny that there are still tags on these next two items because I have worn them and I just haven't taken the tag off. I think I've tucked the tag in when I've worn it out, but I'm kind of glad because now I have the name of the top on it. Countryside Denim Top from Princess Polly, and this is in a size six. I have definitely worn this a bunch because it ties really cute in the back, it's open back, and it is also like a halter top on top. But I just think, again, and I'm gonna wear these with jeans or something, or like denim skirt or something like that. It's just so cute. I love the darker wash. I love the tie in the back, and this is just very cute. On their website, they also have a really cute matching skirt that I didn't get. Millie woke up from her nap, so I had to go feed her really quick. But anyways, just in short, this denim top is so cute. I've worn it several times. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know why there's still tags on it because I think I have issues with taking tags off items because there's also still a tag on this and I have worn it. I have no intentions on returning it. But this one is called the After Hours Corset Top in Denim. This one, you guys, is so cute. It doesn't on like this, but, um, and I had this buttoned all the way up to the top. If you follow me on Instagram, I did post a story wearing this and that other denim top, if you wanna see it on, or I reel. <laughs> um, on denim tops are so very, very fall. I've been loving wearing these to like, um, they're comfy enough. They can run errands, date night, whatever. Um, you guys know me though, like I was in something comfy cozy, which will be the last thing that I talk about are skims I'm wearing right now. It's nap time, I wanna be comfy, I wanna be cozy. It's a little bit chilly outside. And these skims pajamas, the boyfriend top and the boxer pant version are so good. I'm wearing the pant version right now for fall, but I also have these pajamas in the boxer short and the top. They're so good, oh, as well. And 
I think that's pretty much everything I have to talk about. Leela's waking up from her nap, so perfect timing <laughs> to be ending this video. Sorry it was a little bit long, but that is all of my current favorites. If you guys like this video, make sure you let me know um, on each month. I think that that would be really fun. But also know that if you use any link below, it seriously means the world to me because it supports my family and allows me to make more videos like this for you guys. Um, you definitely don't have links. You never have to. I just love talking about products and things that I like. But if you do use them, just know that it's not taken for granted and um, it doesn't go unnoticed. Thank you so much. And I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.